The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Hi folks, Basil Chapman sitting in for Steve Rhodes, sitting in for the hour. No way I could do the Trader's Edge. I mean, that's the unique thing about all the hosts here at TFNN. We all have our individual techniques, um, proprietary to techniques, and actually techniques we discuss in public. <clears throat> we have webinars on the, all these different techniques, etc. And uh, I'm just thinking, as I say that, our late Dave White uh, colleague, <clears throat> uh, evidently would have been his birthday on the 29th uh, <clears throat> leap year. So we miss you, Dave, and uh, our, our deepest thoughts, we miss you a lot here. Um, so with that, I'm going to do this. So the Dow right now is up 61 at 39,058. Uh, in my work, in the Chapman Wave, we've got a very simple technique. It does get complex as it moves on, but the simplicity is you identify a low, <clears throat> and you count each success of the higher peak, alphabetize them sequentially, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, there's never an H. At D, other things can happen. If a D within three bars, it makes a new high, you call that an alternate count. E and then slash A, F slash B, G slash C, and invariably, G slash C goes to the D. It might pull back first, but it'll go to the D. Simple. Buy signal gets upgraded to a buy mode. The objective is to always get you to at least a leg D and then a peak D. It can go do all sorts of things at D, but that's the objective. Well, what do we do? <clears throat> We got to a D right here in the uh, daily chart, pull back. We've created an up channel, Chapman Wave inside track, up channel support zone. We've gone right to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone and got repelled. It's holding the nine, the black nine period moving average. Uh, I like to use one, I call it the indicator of last resort because not nope, this one right here. Uh, why? Because when the Nine period moving average crosses positive, and I look here in the spy, it crossed positive on March, I think, uh, sorry, November the 3rd. Even with all the stuff that's gone on in the news or whatever, 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 it has not crossed. Now, even with that sharp pullback early in um, January, it did not cross negative. And it's still the nine period moving average. Um, if you just held this one, position and use that, you would still be long. We've tried to do that with Microsoft. We've had it for quite some time. Uh, we've had it since there. Um, and look, it's holding the, even it looked like it was going to go pink. It didn't go pink. It could still go pink. But this is, a, this is an indicator called the indicator of last resort. So I'm just showing you these things uh, to show you how um, some simple techniques can work. And you can make them complex. I sometimes make them complex by trying to identify a very short-term top. We've actually, we are still on a very short-term basis, short the Dow the, by, via the DOG. We still have long positions from um, March of 2020 in the diamonds and the diamond and UDOW. You should never do that, but we do have it three times long from October of 2022. Um, yeah, so it's just a short-term trading position. But we'll see if it's going to work. Now, let me show you a couple of things, and then I want to go. I've got all these questions. I said that I will try to do what uh, um, Steve does so well. I'll try to take as many questions as possible. So this is the S&P leg G slash C right now, going towards the inside track repellent zone. Yes, um, it made a new high today. That means the weekly chart is only in leg B after this fulcrum, this propeller shaft moved to the upside. So any pullback, makes this whole area, no matter how deep, the whole area of 4,800 to 4,700 should hold if there's a really sharp, and it's still in a buy mode. So this is very positive looking out and uh, looking at the QQQ. I want to get this done very quickly because I've got, now I've got a ton of questions that have come in. 
uh, leg D in the uh, daily chart at 443.12, up 413, and it's at an all-time high as we speak. And this is only a leg C in the weekly chart. So to get it to a D, you've got to go out at least another minimum of three weeks. All right, that means every week he either makes a lower high next week and then a higher high the following week and then a lower high and you've made your peak D. It doesn't quite work like that in real life. They take a little bit longer. So this is very positive. IWM is breaking out <clears throat> of the resistance that it had in the 206 area. Um, no, sorry, 205 area. Now it's at 206.13, up 2.42. Nice action. I like that action. It's very good. And a leg D in the uh, weekly chart, and only a leg B. And you and I have to call it, I was calling it a gray leg B. Now I can call it a blue, meaning that it's a buy mode in the monthly chart. First time it's done that, oh, in ages. Look, MACD is good. The stochastic's finally at 81%, and we st that means we closed last month, yesterday, in the 81% 80, area. Now you're at 81 starting March. And the on-balance volume is not overboard at all. It's kind of just okay. And the nine is crossed positive. So this is looking very good. I didn't do the XLF. I was asked about it. I'll do the XLF. <clears throat> That's the financials. Stalling here to peak F in the daily chart. Look, way above the nine. Well, it's not away, but it's above the nine. But the nine is way above the 14. MACD is good. Not great, but good. Stochastic is very good at 90%. On-balance volume is a little bit overboard. Weekly chart is in a G slash C. I'm looking at this, and the monthly chart has to get to 4170, January high of 2022 after falling to 29s uh, in October of 2022. Very nice candle, uh, very nice candle last month. And because we've gone, oh, we have, we must go to a higher high this month above the high that was made last month of last week of 40.55, 40.56. Continues the monthly leg B and continues the leg G says C in the weekly chart. Uh, now I want to go to gold. Gold is broken out very nicely. I was talking about this in the show. I said the 2082 level on the left with a nice price time match, left side, right side, couple V-shaped formation. Might challenge that very quickly. And lo and behold, we've just done that up $27. Uh, the weekly chart, hey, it's, it's not bad. It's good. Uh, it's a nice start. But look, the nine period moving average with all of this pullback from the two, um, from the 2100s down to just under 2000, that nine period moving average held. So this is a very, this is a big positive. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I just want to finish that up with it. <clears throat> Dollar just pulling back a little bit down, 21 ticks at 103.93. Um, that high that was made uh, just uh, three weeks ago. At 105, just over, I think it was 105, 104.98. Um, that's still holding nicely, <clears throat> but the nine, the the nine period moving average for pink, then it went green yesterday. Now it's pink again. When you get this, you've got to be careful that it isn't producing a magnet line at the 200 period moving average of 103.80. If you really want to be bearish now on the dollar and bullish on gold. Uh, you want to see this down at 102.30 by this coming Friday, or at least maybe seven sessions from now. Trading under that, that'll say, okay, now gold can move higher. I'll be back. Dow's up 40, S&P's up 20, and I've got a bunch of calls. We'll go to ANET very soon. That's um, Arista Networks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tiger U, uh, Basil Chapman staying in for Steve Rhodes Hour. In the, uh, in the Tiger YouTube, uh, someone said, uh, who was it, Jeff, was it? Uh, have a look at MU. Yes, Micron. Monthly going back to 1999. I remember this so well. I, I should have charts all notated with the Chapman Wave no, notation if I hadn't lost them through different things because I've noted. Look at this. It made a lot. I, I've spoken about this. I even had a, I put in a webinar once where I spoke about advanced micro devices that used to go to the single digits and then scream to the hundreds or even higher than that. Once upon a time, look. Chapman wave a low right there in 1996 goes to a peak deep, pulls back, starts over again at um, in June of 1998 at 10:03. I think it's peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. Actually, a Chapman wave instant restart, but it goes to E, goes to F, and the month of Ju July of 2000 makes a top at 97.50. But look at this; it had a. You, you talk about round numbers. I remember this well. It had a 91 round number uh, open that month. I, I think it was split, but it was still a round number. Uh, isn't that interesting? That's why I'm saying these round numbers are going to turn into something important. I don't know yet exactly how it's going to work out. Then back in uh, 09, it goes down from uh, from those hundreds. It goes down to $1.59. So it's a brand new peak. A, B, C, D pulls back 2010. Uh, 2011 pulls back, starts another one. Uh, that goes to that one went to 11.95. This one goes down to 3.97, and a screws peak A, B, C, D, E, F, and even a G right there. Uh, G and oh my God, I can't believe it. The G in the month of December of 2014, and you know what? It makes a 36.59 high. But it opened the month. To open the month, it's just coincidence, but it's amazing how it happens. It had a round number 36. Well, it goes from 36 down to $9.31 a year later, less than a year later, uh, January of 2016. Mm -hmm. Then it goes peak A, B, C, D, E, fails right there. Uh, this is a Chapman Wave inverted green Roman candle. And it takes another one right there, and then it turns around and it fails completely with another one. Uh, and what was that high? 
that I was 64.46. They're round numbers. You can't expect it every time. Um, yeah. And then it pulls back from that in the 60s. It goes down to gets cut in half. And 2018, uh, January, no, December of 2018, it goes to 28.39. goes peak A, B, C, D. And then continues higher to E and F with a double top of 96.95 back in about April of 2021. And then... January, it goes to 98.45 after dropping 30 points to 965. It goes to 98, double top right there. Um, yeah, that's it. And then it comes down. And now we've started a brand new move to the upside from the low of 48.43. And it's trading in leg C right now. So that's still very bullish. Unless we make a triple top, 95, right now the high is 95.97. Um, so 98.45 was the, uh, and this is an inverted, I've done a lot of work on this inverted handle and cup. This is not a cup and handle, handle and cup. I, I don't want to go into it right now because i got to review what I used to do when I did this particular pattern. Um, yeah, it's, no, it's not an N, that's a B. This is a new leg B. I hope that helps you. Okay, next question was Arista. Let's go to ANET. A-N-E-T. So this is having a big move today. Um, it's up 3.39%, up 940 at 286.94. Had a high of 292.62. Had a, round, a couple of round, quite a few round numbers over the last uh, three weeks. I didn't actually check to see in the most recent ones. I'm not going to waste time on that right now. Oh, two, opened yesterday at 275. Had a high of 278. And here it is at 287. So it's it's looking out over a period of time. It's not immediately that you look at it. I want to see what happens. Will it retest the 292.66? Well, it's acting very nicely. And the monthly the weekly chart is still strong. And the monthly chart is amazing. But when these take a breather, I think it's, it's going to take quite a bit of a breather. It's looking really good right now. So where's the support? 274 to 271. The 14 period and the 9 period moving averages, that's your support. Breaks under in the next two weeks. If it closes any day, closes under 267, I say just start being careful because it could be retesting the low that was made just the other day. And look, the pink, the 9 period moving average went pink just briefly and now it's back to green. So think of it, green is positive. That's all you have to do. Now I need to go to, um, okay. So I'm going to go to this one. Oh, so, that's, so where could it go to? You know, for me, I, I do this all the time. And then I find the majority of time, for my, I love the way Larry does it. For some reason, Larry has a way of looking at these one-to-one um, -one expansions. And he does it so beautifully. I'm picking this from here to there, straight line. And then I want to, I like the parallel moves. I like to see an, like a, a move that does one-to-one -one in the same angle, the same degree. So if you do it this way, that's a failure because I always take it from the low, right? But if you take it from the high, we've already broken above it. So all I can say is that's not working. So I can't really tell you what I would do is I'd go to my automated, uh, where did it go? Oh, right there. So a a net a, a well first of all let's do this semiconductor two two one point sixty one is the Chapman wave automated resistance level in the daily there's nothing here in the weekly there's nothing in the monthly nothing in the hundred and twenty minute chart so two twenty one would be resistance we a couple of points away from that let's go to a n e t and a n e t is two ninety two point forty and it's already gone there. It's gone to 292.56. Uh, that was a couple of weeks ago. So there's your resistance, and you're breaking out in the weekly chart above the resistance. Those now become support, and there's nothing in the weekly or the 120-minute chart. So I hope that helped you. Next question, I wrote them down in order. Um, Fizz. Fizz is Fiserv, I believe. Fiserv right here, F-I-S. Yeah, so it made a new um, recovery high today. It went to, uh, yes, yesterday, 69.59. It's down 34 cents. It's in a leg E. 
The on-balance volume is already pulling back. It's a little overbought, but 90% in the stochastic is really good. MACD is good. So I suggest to you that I'm going to draw this in and we'll have a look to see if it's accurate. It can go a little higher towards 70. But this is what I would be looking at. So first of all, I'd look at this as your, your first area of resistance and support. And that takes you down to the 90, oops, I didn't mean 90, I mean 60, 66 to 65 area is key support. Very strong leg D in the weekly chart. Yeah, so the midpoint of that would be your first really good support. But that monthly chart is only in leg A. Fidelity National Information Payment, oh, that's what it is. Fidelity National Information Payment Services Credit Debit Card Processing. Oh, I looked at this the other day. I forgot about that. Yeah, acting very well. I'll be back. Dow's up 28, S&P's up 20. Be right. Basil Chapman sitting in for Steve Rose. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Before, but after, um, so this is Basil Chapman sitting in for the hour of, of Steve Rhodes is away. Uh, Caterpillar. So the question came in, Caterpillar. Look at this. All-time highs. Yesterday it had a round number open of 331 and a nice green candle. Today it has a round number open of 330, uh, 334 and it's moving to all-time highs. I don't know. You remember what we saw just now? Oh, let's go to ARM. ARM. Round number 164 all-time high. Where is it right now? <clears throat> it's at 142. 
uh, 144 was a round number high. Yesterday, there were so many stocks with round numbers that actually took them out. Uh, last night, the closes of a whole bunch of stocks were at round numbers, even though the official close was uh, with, with a decimal. decimal the, they had in the, the left column right here where it said close, they had round numbers. So something's going on, and I, I'm just going to say um, I'm watching this very closely, very closely. Next question came in. Uh, did I finish FIS? FIS? Oh, yeah. So that's what I said. Uh, 65 should be support that this big green candle. Now, what happens if this closes towards the high of the day, that'll be Marabosa candle. No wicks or virtually no wicks. That means for the next two bars, I look either if there's another a stronger gap up move, that's fantastic. Normally, you get either a doji candle or a pullback to give back some of the last hour's gains. That's normally what I would see on a candle like that. Next thing we want to look at is postage. PST, but it's got nothing to do with postage. They took the stamp. Oh, it was stamp, it's DMP. Postage, spectacular. I followed this for so long. Pure Storage Inc., A shares. Unbelievable, up 3.65 percent to that. But dollar 64.57 had a must have had great earnings yesterday. Spectacular move. Um, I have to call this. Huh? A. I have to. I, I think I have to call this an A. And this is a leg D in the monthly in the weekly chart. Leg F in the monthly, and even that has to change because it's just so strong. Um, fabulous move. So all I could say is. There are so many um, moves to the upside that are after the gap. That's usually really positive. But two things you've got to keep in mind. Within the, um, within the context of going sideways, that's one thing. But in this cup formation as a breakout, what you do is that little the, the, the lip on the left side right here down here below 45 to 41. That is major support. Now you have to look for secondary support. And the secondary support is the most obvious one, which is the gap low of yesterday where it opened. It opened at 47.58. So it's at it's at 54 right now. I put it here again. I put it in the middle. If it starts to close under 50.30, let's say, if it closes under 50, and I, I'm... I'll have to, I did this quickly the other day because I really I, I looked at it as a potential because it's always on my I don't know if I've got it back on my list but I've, it's something I've always noted that in packaging they do two things I would packaging is PKG I don't know if I've updated it yeah look packaging this is packaging oh no no oh wait wait P, oh PHK this is PKG packaging. Uh, at a high, all-time high, as we speak. So this is Packaging Corp of America. I like, I always, the reason why I look at postage is because I always thought it was kind of the postage stamps, right? So I realized that the symbol that I'm looking at is different to the actual company. Uh, but Packaging Corp, PKG, is um, really important because it tells you about the proclivity of People to be buying things over and over and over. That's why Amazon's up at the highs. And this is a really, it's in leg C, it's a very bullish sign. A, I'll turn account. This is a leg D in the weekly alternative count. The last D pulled back quite a bit. Yeah, this is nice. A, B, C, D. So packaging core of America is, I put it together with, uh, with my CTA, CTAS, uh, yeah, with uh, uh, WM. Waste management. So it, it, this, is, this is America. This is what's going on in the economy right now. So it's really, there's a bullish sign. So let's go to my, my, the question that we we're looking at here. The next one was, could I look at uh, Microsoft? So we were looking at Microsoft earlier on. And what I had said was, looking at those peak Ds, let's see if I've still got Microsoft here. Yeah. So here's your peak D uh, in the 10 minute chart and a pullback, but that nine is still holding well. So for the nine, for the green to turn pink, you probably have to see this is a ten minute chart. Um, Microsoft trading below four hundred eleven point twenty, and that'll make a dreaded H pattern. Oh, I mentioned something that I'll have to show it. The dreaded H is right here. Dreaded H is it's when you come down sharply, not you, when the price comes down sharply. 
and then makes a, a peak A or a B. It fails and it takes out that left side low. That's a that's a dreaded H. And if it takes it out, you can go one to one to the downside of the arch. So I'm going to be watching this closely. Right now, the nine's still holding very nicely. Okay, on a shorter term basis, Microsoft has gone right to the 200 period exponential moving average. So let me just show you this as you're starting. Yep, this new start, right? Well, you look for the lowest low to start your wave count. Peak A, and every peak above it gets counted. Look, that's A. That's also an A. That's now a B. That becomes a C. That becomes a D. And that becomes an E. And it pulls back, pulls back, and has one spike to the upside. That's an F. That, that didn't go pink. So I'll just put a pink plus sign right there. I'm not going to do that now. I haven't got time, and I'll put a down arrow, and now we're watching this closely. So the one minute chart is still in the down mode, um, and you're watching to see what happens. Well, the 10 minute chart is still looking good. All right, so it gets out of this. Let's go on. We want to be looking at the next question came in CVNA. This is another one that folks look at and they shake their head and they say, wow, I could have been buying this way down in the pennies. And here it is at $80. So it's in a leg C stopping right at a, a, a line it's not been at since 2022 when it went negative right there. And look what happens. Look how strong the 200 period moving is as a 200 period moving average is as a magnet. Back in 20, the end of, uh, let me see if it's December or January. Back right there. Uh, February, the week, uh, the weekly chart. Yeah, week of February the 4th, Carvana, CVNA, closes under the 200 period moving average for the first time since it broke above it back in uh, April, the week of April the 3rd, 2020. It goes to peak A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. And then it has this kind of A, B, C, but that, that C you have to put into context here. Uh, and if you just check, check A, B, C. Yeah, so when I get a C like that, I always go back and say, what did I miss? So that is a C, it's pulling totally the C and it's a minus. Fails very, very seldom fails in the C. So it comes back down, but then it went negative right there. And the week of 21st of January, it hasn't been there since 2022, it's just touched it for the first time. That's how important the 200 period moving average is. I'll be back. Basil Chapman sitting in for the hour of Steve Rhodes. A lot of questions coming in and even more. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here, sitting for Steve Rhodes Hour. Uh, the Dow is up 18, the SP is up 21. Um, we're looking at Carvana, C R uh, C V N A, trading up uh, four dollars at seventy nine ninety four. <clears throat> Made a high just the other day. Uh, peak E, it's pulling back just a little bit. Now it's going green, but the nine is look. The price is way over the nine. Nine is way over the fourteen period moving average in the daily chart. MACD is still expanding. The histogram is just now flattening out, but it's the, the green line is expanding with the pink line. The, the unbalanced, the uh, relative strength is still good. It's not great, but it's very good. Uh, the stochastics at 82%, that's great. Unbalanced volume is a little bit overbought. But it hit the 200 period moving average after years. <clears throat> that is a magnet line. Because it's the first time it could hang around here and then it could pull back towards the 65 area at some point. Well, it depends on how high it goes in this phase. But it's a leg C, and that's really good. That is the magnet line, 79 right there, 200 period moving average of 80.96. So it can go higher, it can go lower, it'll keep coming back to this area as, as I see it. It's an leg D already in the uh, monthly chart, but you always get Ds coming off a bottom. Otherwise, how do you go to the top? So this is very bullish so far, but very short term. I can see a starting to meander, uh, maybe 85, 80, let's even go to 86 as a high, and I'd say 70, 72 is the key support on the very short term. Watch it closely. But so far, it's looking good. Um, but it isn't at the new high, so it's taken three days to rest up at this particular point. Next question came in. Um, I did that, I did that. ARWR, ARWR, I'm looking at this. Oh, what a nice move today. This is uh, leg B. So this is a brand new leg B. It made a peak F top just under at 40 or just under 40. It plummets down to the 28, 29 area. Now it's peak A, peak B. The, the MACD is good. The 9 is good. 9 over the 14. The stochastics weak is still, no, the stochastic is at 80%. I want to say the on balance volume is a little weak. And the relative strength is climbing, but uh, not as well. No, actually, I should say uh, on uh, the uh, relative the Relative strength index is good, and the weekly chart isn't good. So what am I looking at? ARWR. Gosh, I used to have this all notated. Arrowhead Farmer. Uh, yeah, this is good. I think it's heading towards 37.82. That's the 200 period moving average. If it gets there next week, I'm talking with speed now because that's what biotechs do. If it gets there next week, then the high that was made of uh, 39.83, the week of the 12th of January. That becomes not just a target. I suspect it'll go to a leg B above that. Key support is where it was yesterday at the close. And that's right on the 9 and 14 period moving averages. And that makes the 32 air, 33.30 to maybe 32, 32.20. That's kind of key support short term. Uh, then I had a question. Oh, I don't really want to discuss it. Um, yes. So... Um, Comex Gold. 
So, oh, comics go. So what is going on? I have to suspect, I suspect it's part of Middle East thing, because that's the way that this gold has been moving lately. Um, it's not the dollar. I think it's now gold. The fact that it's broken that left side support. The, the, the gold stocks are so low that I think that you could nibble on some at this particular point. I'm sure when Tom does his show later on today at three, if he's, if he's on, um, he'll be talking about the gold stocks. But this is the first time because of the 200 period moving average, the breakaway with an inverse head and shoulders. This is the first time that I'm actually seeing strength. And we've got to wait. It's not even 12 o'clock yet. So we really have to wait until later in the day. But if I'm mean, going to let's do this. If on Monday, the weekly chart extends higher and tags the high that was made back on the week of the 29th of December, which was at 2117. I mean, theoretically, that should be a long way to go, but look how quickly we've moved up here. Um, and it's only a leg B. And I've got the stochastic for the first time at 80. Yes, 82%. That's the first time I can say this is a move that could have legs. And the um, on balance volume is working out well. Relative strength has been rising throughout this pullback and now with the rally. And you've got the 9 over the 14. Yeah, I like this very much. Even if there's a pullback, I think that the trigger off the low that was made makes the 2026 to 2038 level really good support if there's somehow other, you know, gold does that when you least expect. This is the first Friday I can remember when we're looking at gold acting so well. Um, let's just see. Oh, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, NVIDIA, very good move. And I, I'm not going to say anything other than it opened at a round number 800. All I'm saying to you is that I don't ever remember seeing the numbers that we're looking at of leaders that have round numbers in desperation where people are saying, I don't care, I've got to have, just grab it. 800, take it, it's mine. And um, that just says to me that that is a form of round number hysteria. And I think there's a penalty to be paid for it. It doesn't have to be immediate, but it's saying to me, we're going to look back at some point. I don't know about the market, but I'm saying that these uh, astounding moves to the upside, you will find that at some point we've given back a big chunk. Look, here's NVIDIA. I've still got the letters. Remember, I do every single chart, the thousands of charts that you see. A hand chart. It doesn't take me long to do, but it's a hand chart. And then I lose a bunch because why? Uh, I lose a bunch, a bunch because um, the uh, when when it shuts down, for instance, yesterday out of the blue, I just had a shutdown. Comcast, poof, I don't know what it was, um, and shut down. But it came right back. But normally in the old day, and I've got oh backups and everything. But normally what happens if it shuts down and says you've got to close it, or it closes automatically. I lose some data. It's there in the library somewhere, but it doesn't come back. Like, and I then I have to renotate those charts. Not everything, but those charts that I lost. So there it is. I'm pleased I've still got the same chart. There's it was once. I, these, it's astounding to me how great companies split, and then they come right back to the previous price. Look at this. That E means that the price was just below it. Where are we right now? We're just below it in leg C. At five eight hundred nineteen in Nvidia, astounding move. Okay, so I'm watching it. Made an eight twenty three point ninety four top. The MACD is good, and MACD is good. Stochastic's only at eighty two percent. Yeah, that's good, but not as good as it would be. On balance, bombs a little bit overbought. And do I call this a G? Just for the moment, I'm calling it a G. I think I need to do some work because that was an instant restart. That will make this E slash A. F slash B, and this will become a G. I'm going to put a G slash C. Because you never, I never rule out the instant restart. Parallel people ask me, how? Hey, well, if you've got a parallel re uh, wait, what are we supposed to do? All I'm saying is that once it makes an instant restart within three bars after D, you've got to have no choice but to consider it in the Chapman wave as an alternate count. Uh, Dow's up 29. We've got the last break coming up. Gee, that did go quickly, didn't it? Did I miss any questions in the den? Um, yeah, okay, there's one. I'll, I'll get to it in a moment.
I've been back. Spencer Chapman sitting in for Steve Rhodes. That was a good one. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Back on Monday. So look at this, RSP, this is the S&P 500 equal weight ETF. It means that they have to buy 500s of these little guys to get whatever it is. What it had, you never see this in, in ETFs. What? It's at an all-time high. Uh, whoops, 164.49 was the all-time high. It's within a dollar of an all-time high or so. And it had a 163 round number open. I mean, give me a break. How does that? All right, Apple, Apple is breaking down. It's one of the few that's just failing to do what it has to do. So it's making the arch formation. I suspect that you've got to have a laggard in every bunch of leaders. There's always a laggard. This is Apple. So yeah, that's part of what's dragging the Dow down a little bit. Um, we're also, just real quickly, what was it? Apple, 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 Apple. Uh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, so a quick question came in at TLT. So that's bonds. So this is a good move up. It's in leg B. I'm not yet sure that bonds are really going to scream to the upside just at the moment. I think there's a move to the upside so yields can come down a little bit. I just, I'm not 100% sure. This is not great action. It's really, and I think gold is telling us about, uh, the gold is the, uh, is the fear icon for international geopolitical events. So that's probably what we're looking at here. Maybe that will affect the market. I don't know. So in the meantime, I have a fantastic weekend. Um, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. We grabbed a position today. 
it, I had to do a split because if I bought it at the high, it would have been ridiculous. I needed to pull back. It had gapped up huge. And I had a split position because I didn't want to miss getting it. But I also wanted to be buying it at the high and have it drop sharply because it looked positive. So we got a split position. We only got one part of it. So far, it's doing very nicely. But um, I, next week, maybe I'll get into it in my show a little bit about how if you're really missing something, start a position, but don't get the full position. At least you're in it and you get a good feel for it. So with that said, oh, this is the first time I'm actually waiting for the music. There he goes. Hey, have a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned. Great program is still to come. And check out my opening call and my show at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Weekdays. I'll see you on Monday. Have a great week.